Well, hello there. My name is Adib Muhammad Faldot, and in this video, we're going to learn how to pronounce S endings. Take a look at these four words. So now, let's make them plural. Listen to how the S ending is pronounced. Did you notice any differences? In these examples, the S ending is pronounced three different ways. Why? So, here is the explanation. Well, the pronunciation of the S ending depends on the sound it follows. The first, if the sound before the S ending is a voiceless consonant, then the S is pronounced as Take a look. The S ending is pronounced as S after the voiceless consonant in the word cats. Cats. Another example for S endings like books, bats, folds, boots and light. The second way is, if the sound before the S ending is a voiced consonant or a vowel, then the S endings pronounced as Z. Z. Take a look at these two words. The S ending is pronounced as Z after the voiced consonant k in the word dogs dogs and after the vowel u in the word zebras zebras another example for the second ways like days evenings fires and flowers the third way let's return to the word horse it's pronounced with the final s sound and the letter e at the end is silent but when it's plural the e is pronounced as a part of the ending here is the another example the word fox also ends with the S sound, but it doesn't have the silent letter E at the end. So, its plural is formed by the ending ES, that's pronounced as is, is. As you may have guessed, these words for words that end with the sounds S or Let's pronounce these two words once more. Horses, horses, foxes, foxes. Another example for ease ending like branches, buzzes, classes, and edges. So, that's all the three different ways for the S endings in American accent. I am Adip Mohamed Fadol, thank you very much and see you again.